Big Pokey, you know, Texas rapper, legend, representer. Uh, he's been a big influence in the history of Texas rap, and we're here with him today at Texas Legends. Uh, big Pokey, so, uh, what was some of uh, your influence in the Texas style that kind of developed your early career? Uh, just really the, the whole movement, man, the school movement. It was, it was a real epic movement, man, you know what I'm saying? And, just to see how that shit came together, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, like I say, I came in the game, I was freestyling, you know what I'm saying, more freestyling, but it, it made me challenge my pen and get my pen together, and things of that nature, so. Uh, it was just a movement, man. It was just a lot going on, man. And you had to, you know, rise up to it or, you know, get that what was it? What was a typical day like outside of DJ Screw's house? Uh, typical day, man. Uh, shit, a bunch of motherfuckers coming by getting tapes and shit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, he opened up at a certain time. And uh, when he opened up, you know, you got a bunch of traffic motherfuckers coming and getting, getting, you know, two, three at a time. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we, you know, we, we'll be over there either fucking with some music or just, you know, fucking with school. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, uh, he had a pool table in the garage and things like that, so, you know what I mean? It was, you know, it was always something. Well, artists today, um, you know, when they're getting signed, a lot of them don't own a lot of their own music. Did you own a lot of your own music whenever you first got signed? Not in the beginning. Um, you know, it was a learning process. You know what I'm saying? Like, with me, you know, you know music kind of like fell in my lap. I didn't, I didn't know that's just how, you know, I was going to make my living, but when I got in the game, I just had to learn and learn what was going on. And so as a taking time, and learning and knowing what's going on, then I started, you know, figuring out different things to do, you know, you know, that made sense. Mm -hmm. Just learning the game, man. Right? Yeah. So the theme for today is, uh, you know, what was your favorite Texas rapper growing up? Shit, face. Face? Yeah, yeah, face. Uh, UGK. She was, you know, uh, goddamn me, the street military. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, SPC, you know what I mean? A lot of man, I came up on. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So. And then to kind of conclude here, uh, is there any young artist that you see coming up that you feel could represent the style and the culture that you've been accustomed to? in the rap. Definitely, uh, but I, I feel like, you know, now, you know, styles change. Like when we came in the game, we had a different style. You know what I mean? And, you know, styles change, times change, but, you you know, I definitely see some young bulls out there that, that's ready to get out of here and make some noise and, you know, leave their prints in the sand and everything, man, so. Anyone specific? Any shout outs to anyone? Uh, man, there's a few of them, man. I got a little cat at my hood, man, in the Bugatti. Okay. Uh, he doing his thing. Uh, uh, Lesquite, I ain't hear from him in a second, but he one of them. Uh, Big Blood, you got shit. Cal Wayne, them, you know. And I appreciate that. It's a bunch of cats out there. Even, you know, just, uh, um, you know, it's, it's a bunch of them, man. Well, thank you for doing an interview with Stop Playing Studios. Uh, we really appreciate what you did for the Texas culture, and we look forward to seeing you perform. Already. Uh, All right, thank you. Thank you.